I just, uh, I'm really impressed with the job that Cami Etheridge is doing and how well their team is playing. It was a, this is a great win for us. And, you know, Washington State being in second place uh, the last weekend of the, of the conference uh, is, is really exciting for them. And, and they gave us a heck of a game. Uh, they move the ball really well. Uh, they shoot the ball really well. Uh, they came in with a, a game plan, and we had to really battle. Um, I thought uh, Cam did a great job inside for us, and Haley had a, a double double, uh, really rebound and pushing the ball for us. Um, you know, just uh, getting the assists. We were we were missing Lexi today, and, and that we we just uh, we didn't have the energy that we usually have, honestly. But um, different people came in. I thought Jana contributed. Anna Wilson had a really good game. Um, you know, uh, Lacey was, you know, uh, steady. Um, and uh, I thought Fran was involved. Uh, Fran gave us great energy. Uh, she kind of got in and got going for us. But uh, we were, uh, I think we were a little flat, honestly, and we need to come out uh, against Washington uh, with more energy. Questions? Would, would just the fact that you would like to win at home or, and Saturday being a time that you could finish undefeated in the winning position. Yep. Uh, is that going to be like a motivation kind of thing to, to maybe pump it up? That would motivate me. Uh, you know, we want, I mean, we take it one game at a time, obviously. We want to, but we want to play well. We want to improve. And uh, I just think, you know, Washington's coming in with having t won two games. Um, you know, when they struggled all season, they're, they're going to be playing loose. Uh, so we, we really need to come out and uh, establish kind of how we're going to play and what we're going to do. You guys dominated Washington at the moment. Uh, and obviously, today was a very different story. A lot of that seems to be just them getting better and them mm -hmm. kind of coming together. What, what is kind of the biggest difference you've seen them between when you face them at Pullman and when you face them uh, tonight? Well, I think they're playing with a lot more confidence. Uh, they, they also didn't have uh, number 15 play for them, and she's a big part of what they do. I mean, she played 28 minutes. Um, you know, she's a, she's a really – physical, aggressive rebounder for him, uh, defender. Um, but uh, I, I also, I think they've really improved a lot. Uh, 21, Tedder has really improved a lot. Uh, their big kid, I think that's the biggest difference as uh, their big kid. But, um, you know, we were, uh, we had to play well to beat them up there. And I think they learned from that game and, and uh, they made us play differently down here. So Cameron, how, how do you feel just about this whole season? Uh, how do you progress? Um, yeah, I think I've definitely took on more of a scoring role, and um, my coaching staff and my teammates have a lot of conf confidence in me, and that feels good. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just having a f having fun out there, and that's what matters. So, yeah. Your rebounding comes natural. I get it's hard once we rebound, so mm -hmm. I, I do. <laughs> so the only question I have for Haley is: Do you and Hannah have a bet for tomorrow? Sorry, what was the question? Do you and Hannah, do you have a bet for tomorrow? A bet for tomorrow. Yeah, maybe in Friday or again. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I think that's against NCAA regulations to have one, so. <laughs> yep, good job, Taylor. Yeah. 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 Thank you're you. Right, right. So, yeah, no bets for us. Maybe just some snack talk. <laughs> uh, for, for Cameron, just what, <clears throat> what did you see out there today that allowed you to put up? Because, you know, not, not every game you put up, you know, kind of a Kevin Love kind of Minnesota Timberwolves, you have Caleb kind of sat in line. <laughs> where it's like 16 points, six, so, you know, four block. What did you, but he wasn't like a shot blocker, but like, what did you kind of see from them today that allowed you to kind of fill up the stat sheet to the degree that you did? Um, I, I think it's kind of what I usually see. Like, they were doubling me, so it was kind of, it was harder to score down low, but um, I took shots that were open, and, um, you know, I, I know I could rebound well, so that's what I did. So, yeah. Do you, is it, how do you, like, kind of going off that, what do you do to kind of maintain? this kind of production because you know obviously you know when you were a freshman teams only know you as well now they it's second half of the season your sophomore year they know you now they know that's going you they know you're gonna so how do you kind of continue to produce despite those double teams and knowing that you're gonna get kind of a grade level offer from every interior defense that you see yeah i know teams are definitely scouting me now that i obviously like to go right all the time so <laughs> tara and kate they've all done a really good job on helping me Use my left, like go left, and you'll score, and that's what's been working. So, yeah, that's what I would say. 
then H Haley, just kind of talk about your, kind of your, your performance and kind of what you, some kind of clubs and what you see from them, and also just in general, kind of how you're kind of reading things, you know, and how you kind of read defenses. Because I think mean, Oregon, for example, you kind of just boom, cut, took off fourth quarter there. Just kind of talk about how you're kind of seeing the game and feeling things right now. Um, yeah, I think um, my role on the team, uh, I think Tara likes me to just kind of, she used the term steady a few weeks ago. Um, so I try to be consistent in my play. So um, I think a lot of that comes from play making for my teammates. So that's finding Cam, it's hitting him a jump, Lacey, driving the basket when I'm open, shooting my pull up, whatever it may be. I think um, I try to read the defense and not make decisions before um, in my head prior to a play. So I think a lot of it is just kind of reading the defense and freestyling from there, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like Haley to be aggressive offensively and make really good decisions. And when she does that, she's unstoppable. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. You know, I'm not a very good liar. <laughs> I was Me either. I was just curious, do you guys feel like in some respects it's good to have kind of a closer game like this? I mean, not that you come out wanting that, but mm. is it good to play games like this that are close competitive? Cause well, they, you know, they, made, they, they, um, they kind of got back and, you know, they weren't really on the O boards much and uh, they really wanted us to, um, uh, you know, run our half court offense, which I thought we, we got better and better as the game went on. Um, we, we had some, uh, I think, unforced errors, some turnovers that we would like back, um, but uh, they're a good team. There's, there's a reason they're in second place. You know, they beat, they beat Arizona, they beat UCLA, they beat USC. You know, they, they did struggle with Oregon, but they beat Oregon State. So, um, you know, they're having a great season, and we're excited about beating them. And we, we just we can learn from the game, and, um, you know, they have experienced players, and they, they play well. Anything else? Great. great. All right, Thanks we'll be everybody. excited on Saturday. Thank you.